but what, what's this been like for you to uh, obviously be, be away from teammates, all those things, and have to kind of do everything on your own right now? Obviously, it's really different, and you're, you're used to each spring uh, working out with the guys and being a, um, in the same city as them throughout the whole semester. And, and then once something like this happens, it kind of shocks everybody, and it uh, kind of leaves everybody kind of bored and not knowing what to do. Uh, so at this point, we're just trying to, um, as, as well as working out and stuff, we're trying to stay safe and just continue to um, help and spread uh, around the, the word that it's important to stay safe and it's important to distance and, and stay inside your house and obviously um, stay clean and stuff like that, which is obviously really important and it's something we've never been through. Uh, so we're kind of just um, taking it a day at a time and uh, each family member across the country is doing this. And being in a house full of quarterback, does it help you to have two, at least two other arms to throw with and to be able to keep your game sharp? It definitely makes it a little bit more entertaining and a little bit more fun when you have to go out there and just find a patch of grass around the, the city just to find the throw. Um, but obviously it's fun just to, to be around my brothers and, and just to be around my dad again and just get to train with them. And it's kind of like a, a piece of the NFL when you get to train um, in the offseason by yourself. And so it just kind of – um it's it's a different situation it's hard to really describe um you just kind of like i said you have to take it a day at a time and um whatever you can find out in the yard to, to do is is just what you kind of find yourself doing so well, kind of go piggybacking over. off of that um you know you you got your first year as a college football player and then it kind of came to a halt so how do you think that this kind of time where you're having to train on your own and you know, like you said, treat it like um, NFL offseason. How do you think this is preparing you for that next season? Well, I think it's great self-evaluation, and it gives you a lot of time to self-reflect, and um, it kind of gives you a, a chance to kind of experiment with new things. And um, when be, when you're by yourself and you're training by yourself, you can really kind of focus on on personal things that you like to get better at. And uh, obviously, Coach Russell and the the – um, the weight staff, they do a great job of getting us prepared. Um, but when you're by yourself, you can really zone in on certain things with their help and their guidance from afar um, and kind of focus in on certain things and work on um, stuff that you need to get better at. And for me, it's just uh, continue to get faster and to get, continue to get um, just stronger. And obviously, um, the, the league we play in, it's, it's a tough league and um, everybody around you and is fast and strong. So just to continue to um, keep – um, keep my pace with them and just continue to get better as a, as an athlete. Oh, uh, can you go over? Sorry, go ahead, Brian. Go ahead. No, you go ahead, man. All right. Uh, can you go over just what you're doing outside, especially with your father? Are you actually going over the, the install that Chad Morris is going over you with? And how are you guys working through that when you're out, when you're outside with your dad and your brothers? Absolutely. Obviously I just have kind of have a plan going out there and, um, I don't like going out there just to throw. Obviously, I like being prepared and have a mindset. If I'm going to go out there, I'm going to get better at something. So um, usually what I'll do is I'll script out um, a certain number of plays from our offense, and we'll go out there, and um, I'll kind of call the play in my head and make sure I know um, what where the guys would be and kind of have a spring practice by myself, essentially, because I can't be around the other guys. And um, obviously, with install meetings each week, we are just continue to – um, learn more and more about the offense and continue to put it together so I can just go out there and um, kind of put um, certain people in spots and throw it to them and, and treat it like our offense. What are your early impressions of the offense and what do you think how much of it's new to you and, and getting used to things? I think um, obviously um, it's similar but different obviously with um, going back to his roots with Coach Malzahn is kind of where um, he first started learning it. And so, um, obviously, there's a lot of things similar. Um, but obviously, it, at the end of the day, each offense coordinator has something different up their sleeve. And so, um, just learning those little things and um, how he likes calling plays, what he likes the most, and, and just kind of picking his brain and just learning what he likes. And Because at the end of the day, uh, the quarterback and the offensive coordinator have to be on the same page and they have to know each other. And so I think that's the most important thing. And so as we keep going um, into the summer and whenever we get to go back, uh, I think it'll, con it'll be important to continue just to, to learn and grow with each other. Bo, just to, in general, how, how much of the offense, uh, Chad Morris' offense, do you think you picked up now percentage-wise and how much more do you think you got to learn? 
Oh, uh, well, obviously we're only on uh, a couple of installs because of the, the situation. It kind of slowed us down, but obviously I've gone ahead a little bit um, on my own time and just kind of uh, soaked up as much as I could. But um, I think I'm, um, I'm in a good spot as far as learning a new offense. Obviously it's hard without running and repping plays at practice and having a spring under your belt. But I feel like um, as we continue, um, I'll be able to, to learn the whole offense by the time the season starts. Well, what are some of those challenges of, you know, trying to pick up a new offense without having any actual spring practices? Uh, just repetition and, and reps. And um, obviously being coached on the field is really important. And Coach Morris on the field, we would have had um, great learning moments and great teaching moments to where he can tell me exactly what he wanted on a certain play and a specific look. And um, maybe as we got going through the spring, different checks that the quarterback should be making and, and stuff like that. So you can't, um, you can't replace experience. You can't replace um, repetition. And so just without that, we'll, we'll be just a, a few steps behind. But, I mean, I'm not worried about it because um, the NCAA, the coaches, they'll take care of us as we move forward because everyone's in this position. And uh, whenever we start, we'll just – we'll start from day one and we'll move on from there. Bo, oh, I know over spring break you were able to go work with Joe Burrow and, and Sam Darnold and Jordan Palmer. Can you kind of describe that experience and, and what, what it was like to work with those guys? Yeah, it was just uh, obviously spring break. I uh, wanted to go out there and work with JP and just get um, fundam fundamentally sound again. Uh, obviously, with, with the past, he's he's been one of the guys that has trained me and uh, here, here recently after he coached me at the opening. And so um, usually I just go out there for uh, guidance and advice from him um, because obviously he's trained uh, many good ones and he still trains th those guys, come back and train with him. And then obviously this year he had Joe and he's training some really good quarterbacks. Uh, but just go out there and, and obviously you can learn so much from them and you can soak up so much knowledge from them and how they play the game and just how uh, to go about playing quarterback on a level like that. What kind of conversations did you have with a guy like Joe who succeeded so highly in the SEC last year, won the Heisman? Uh, what was kind of his advice for you moving forward for your career? You know, I think uh, one of the stranger things about um, – like like a cert circumstance like that is you think we talk about just a whole lot of football and stuff like that but at the end of the day we're just quarterbacks and and two kids that want to get better and so we just kind of have real real life normal conversations and um, I mean we're just uh, we love football and you can see that in um, the conversations whether it's me and Joe me and Sam or whoever it is um, talking they're just down to earth guys and they just um, they really uh, enjoy talking to other quarterbacks and just learning themselves. So I think um, throughout the whole process, I just realized that um, no matter what stage you are or you are on or no matter what stage you're about to go to, it's important to stay level-headed and just be humble and, and encourage the guy beside you. Thanks, Bob. Uh, you talk, what is it? Gus talked about – I mean, uh, excuse me, Chad talked about how you were always in kind of in his office – you know, after you got the job and we're talking to – how valuable were those times now that you didn't have spring, that you were able to sit down with him and watch film and, and talk about the offense, get those things done? How valuable is that time now that you think about it? Uh, extremely valuable. And looking back, I'm, I'm glad I did that. And I'm glad I went in there from the start. And because uh, we really got a good jump on things. And, and we were really – we were looking forward to going in spring because we were already kind of ahead and um, just as a quarterback room in general. And then we were going to bring our guys along as we went. Um, so obviously not having spring, not having an extra set of practice, and especially after a year of playing, I mean, that, that kind of hurts, and it, you wish you could have it back. But at the end of the day, everybody did it, and um, nobody got their spring practice. So whenever we get back, um, it just, it'll, it'll light the, um, the fire that much bigger, and then you just get to go out there and play and have fun again. Did it give you an idea of what he was kind of looking for out of you, what he wanted to kind of take your game to the next level? Yeah, he did. He was just um, – obviously he put – a lot of stress on um, just implementing uh, more concepts and more routes and different things and then using our guys uh, to the best of their advantage and moving guys around. And um, with Coach Malzahn, he, um, with such a great offense, it was hard, really hard to be a head coach and OC. I mean, um, not many people are, will are willing to do that in general. And Coach Malzahn um, put everything aside and he did it. Um, and so now Coach Malzahn, I mean, we've just had – um, some conversations that are just a side of football because he doesn't have to worry about that side anymore. And so our relationship has grown from it. And so I think it's just been a great um, situation uh, for the whole team. And then obviously uh, Coach Morris and I, we've continued to, to get better and know what each other are thinking.
So I'm kind of following up with what we asked KJ. Could you imagine a year without football? Uh, I could not personally um, because it's everything I've ever really known, um, especially being the son of a coach. So um, a fall without football, uh, I, it would leave many people around the South kind of lost and have um, a lot of uh, people looking for stuff to do. And so I'm not sure how that would work. Um, but whatever happens, it's in God's control. And so I'm not really worried about it. So what has it been like trying to get to know the class of 2020 virtually? And has anyone made any first impressions on you? Yeah, so obviously this spring would have been really huge for those um, early enrollee guys um, and the new 2020 guys. But um, the rest that are going to come into the summer, they, I mean, it's just kind of normal for them. So they won't really uh, miss anything. But the guys that came in early looking forward to spring practice, um, we were really looking forward to seeing all those guys play because obviously um, we brought in a really good class, one of the best we've had in a while, and so uh, with a lot of top notch guys. And so we were looking forward to seeing how they competed and how they played um, and seeing what they could do on the field. But I'm looking forward to it because I know they're hungry and they're ready to get out there on the field. And so whenever we get to practice, they'll all be fired up and ready to go. Have you gotten the chance to get to know any of them well yet? Yeah, I have. Obviously, the early enrollee guys were around them all the time. Um, just with football, um, football functions and things like that. Um, and the guys that haven't come yet, I've just stayed in contact with and I'm um, just looking forward to getting to meet them. So how's, how's the adjustment been to uh, a remote instruction with Zoom classes and all that? What's that been like? Uh, well, obviously the meetings are a little bit shorter and, and you can't, um, unlike spring practice where you'd see your coaches every single day, almost and with almost a majority of part of the day um, you can't really do that right now so it's just um, taking the time you do have and learning the most um, out of the opportunity and just on your own it's just a good self-evaluation to see how much you're looking at your playbook and and going over things and watching video how about academically with your with your classes uh taking those online uh that was probably um, one of the hardest parts just to learn how each um, teachers going to change how learn learn how each teacher will be different, how the work will be different, um, how the classes will even be different, and so that's been one of the toughest parts is just time management now on the computer. And um, now I'm in Eastern Time, so the time change has kind of um, been a little different. It's kind of um, shaking some things, shaking things up a little bit. Um, so you got to make sure that you're always um, checking the time and making sure you're um, going to be at the right meeting, whatever that time is. Bo, uh, not just now, but uh, in the future, with your dad closer by now with the Central Phoenix City job, how much do you think you'll be working with him just not even this summer, but also in the fall even, you know, when um, you have time maybe to come home? Right. Um, probably just the same as I would have if he was at home and or at his, wherever he would be. Uh, I don't think that would change much. Obviously, with the proximity of uh, closeness to, to Auburn, they'll um, save some driving time during the season. And uh, my brother will get uh, to experience his college recruitment. And so my dad's really focused on that right now. And so even at home, my dad said, I'm just training one quarterback right now. And I'm, I've been fine with it. And um, I just know the circum circumstances are different. And uh, obviously, he's always going to be one of my quarterback trainers, and he's always going to um, tell me exactly what he thinks. And so I don't have to worry about that, uh, really. But um, just as we go, we'll we'll see about all the training stuff. And but I don't see it be, I don't see it being uh, much of a change at all, as what it's been. Well, sitting at home with the situation starting to set in, um, you know, what are some of the thoughts that were going on through your head? You know, not being allowed to be around your teammates. Well, that's probably one of the hardest parts is not being around them. And um, spring practice is so much more than obviously just practice. You're around each other all the time. So you really get to know each other uh, through meetings, through locker room talks. And um, obviously um, still you're going to school and you're eating dinner with them every night. And so um, that's probably been the biggest adjustment is not being around the guys. And um, I feel like I haven't um, seen them in, in a long time, even though it's only been um, a month or two. But I'm just really looking forward to getting back with them and um, being able to hang out with them and just playing football again with them. Has this been the longest you've gone without uh, playing football or being around your teammates? Yeah, uh, especially in a while, because obviously in college football, you don't get uh, much time off. You don't really get vacations or anything. Um, and if they do, they're only for a short period of time, so you don't really go far. 
um, and then you're right back within five days to see them again. And so those guys are really who you're around all the time, and those guys are really who you um, become so close with and become um, great friends with. Thank you. Thank you. So, Bo, if you could talk about the terminology, uh, the different you, – you mentioned the install – here with uh, Coach Morris. How different terminology-wise is it with Coach Morris in this install? Oh, well, learning um, any new offense, the terminology is going to change uh, quite a bit depending on who the coach is. And uh, Coach Morris brought in some similar concepts, um, tweaked the names a little bit, kept some names of stuff we did have. So um, it's kind of been half and half. Um, but anytime you learn a new offense, you just got to prepare to learn um, a whole new offense and you kind of got to make a clean slate um, of what you came from and just learn something new. Um, but I enjoy learning new offenses. I think it's fun. I think it's a fun challenge to accept. And so um, just me uh, loving football and loving um, how the offensive of mind works. I just really enjoy um, learning something new and, and learning the new things that he has for us. And talking with your dad in the past, he has often mentioned that he's the best quarterback in the family. Do you think you've taken over those ranks now? Uh, absolutely. Bo, um, I th- how more, much more difficult would this be if, say, this happened last summer when you're a true freshman and you just went – you're not even able to go through spring and you have to learn everything while also trying to win a quarterback job? Uh, that would have been extremely difficult. Um, and obviously I'm super blessed um, that it was – if it had to happen, it was this year after having a year under my belt. I actually hadn't even thought about this, that scenario. Um, so after bringing that to my attention, it would have been really difficult and uh, it would have been really hard. So I'm sure now that you, you could think of that, you can talk to the incoming freshmen that have come in, the guys like Tank Bigsby, for example, that people are expecting maybe could, could contribute this year. How do you kind of handle those guys when you're just chatting with them on your own during this summer? Well, now they just have to know that uh, in the upcoming months and the upcoming um, practices, whenever that may be, it's just that much more important. And uh, they don't have a spring practice to, to look back on and to learn from. So now they just have to hit the ground running um, much faster than they would have um, if they'd have started behind. And so I think it's important to um, obviously not only just on the field, but just what they're doing off the field and how much time they're putting into it off the field and how much time they're they're with their coaches and with other guys talking about it and uh, really how much, how much they want it. So you and, uh, you and Caleb running routes for each other now? Are you, are you turning into a wide receiver as well? Uh, yes, actually. Um, I enjoy getting my conditioning in with running routes and just I feel like that helps uh, speed and agility. And so I feel like I'm um, a, a receiver too. So I feel like I could go out there and play for him. Is that the biggest factor overall during this time right now is getting that timing down with your tailbacks, with your wide receivers, and even in your offensive line? Yeah, I think that's probably, um, as far as not having a practice, that's probably the, the, what's going to have the biggest impact on us is the timing and, and the different things. But luckily, um, unlike last year, we didn't really have the offseason. We had a, many quarterbacks going through it. This year, we kind of um, knew the situation, and we were able to go out there and start a little earlier and um, get a lot of reps with each other. And um, we kind of knew who was going to be um, playing and, and certain things like that. So it was easier um, to do it this year. Um, but that was definitely, obviously, the hardest part is going to be the timing when we come back. Um, but luckily, we have some some history with each other. Hey, Bo, I know you had a pretty good season last season. Uh, but this season, what, what have you done in off season, knowing that you know the pandemic is going on? What 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 are you? How are you going to take the approach to this new upcoming season? Uh, so I've just been uh, with some free time. I've been just studying other quarterbacks around the league uh, for the past couple of years and seeing what kind of success they had and how they had it. And so I think it's important, um, without having a spring practice, to watch as much video as you can, kind of to get those mental reps. Um, without having a practice and so continue to stay in shape and continue to um, develop as an athlete while obviously learning a new a new offense and having um, to learn new things and and learn um, an entire new offensive scheme um, and put it together with your your mind and how it works and go out there and 
and um, make it work on the field. We'll take a few more for Bo. Personality wise, tell me how different Coach Malzahn and Coach Morris are. Um, obviously, uh, we just Coach Malzahn's very um, he's very upfront, very blunt. Um, he'll he's not afraid to coach you hard, which is probably my uh, my favorite trait about him. He's not going to accept anything but perfection. And so um, with him, um, obviously, I know how he would coach on the field. Haven't got much time with Coach Morris on the field. Um, but just from talking to Coach Morris outside, he's just um, honestly a lot like um, certain offensive coordinators I've been around in the past and just very, very live and, and great personality. And um, one thing him and Coach Dillingham had in common is they were just uh, um, probably the happiest guys in the room and most energetic guys in the room. And um, so that's one thing that um, I really see in Coach um, Morris and um, look forward to playing with him on um, – going up through practices with him and going through a season with him and just see how um, he, he works and see what uh, motivates him.